Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plan Obsessed, and we're going to take a peek at the Titans and the Baby Titans. We're going to do one episode, two bins. Alrighty, so the Titans have, uh, looks like they've pretty much eaten those maple keys. Those are all gone. Let's see what we can find. Well, there's all the Titans. I'm not seeing any evidence of the food from last time. Oh, well, avocado pits don't count. Yeah, it is kind of mucky in here. It's way wetter than I normally run a bin. But, oop, wait a minute. Apparently the Titans aren't. The worm ball type must not be dignified. Put some shredded carrots in here a week or so ago. Probably not going to do the whole measuring the babies to see if they're up to tighten weight, you know, maybe every month or so. I still try and keep an eye on making sure that, you know, there's none of them are getting to reproduction age without meeting the criteria, so I try and keep an eye on At the very least, if there's cocoons or anything. This is also not paper bedding for the most part. This is leaf bedding, so even though it looks like it's entirely castings, it's not. It's uh, still, I don't know how well that translates, but you can see the sticks and the fibers of the leaves. So they've still got bedding in here. It's just different than the rest of my bins. Okay, let's see. This must be where I buried the rest of the carrot. No, they wouldn't do a worm ball for me. They're too cool for worm balls. Of course they are. All right, well, I'm going to feed them pretty good here, and I'm going to definitely put some, like, cardboard here in the corner to kind of sop up some of this, even, even with me wanting it to be a little bit wetter. This is kind of going beyond even that. I don't, the bubble wrap is certainly doing its job for real. It's definitely keeping everybody we're keeping all the you know moisture from escaping almost too well. So I've got some of my cardboard here that I'm gonna lay down. Then they're gonna get a big meal. do. Flip. There we go. Kind of spread it out over a, a larger area. Maybe because they are so big, maybe they just don't want to hang out together. I don't know. Making this up as I go along. Okay, well, that is, that's the Titan bin for now. They got two good handfuls of the, the muck. put their bubble wrap back on, maybe kind of leave one side of it open a little bit. 
then we will go over to the baby titan bin. So I'm just going to turn you around here. Alright, so let's have a look at the babies. Stupid tea bag. Won't I actually think there's pot worms living in there. What's going on? But let's let's see what we can find. Population is certainly growing in here. I think Lilia's uh, experiment with her who reproduces the best out of all the worms kind of gave me a little hope that I could get my European nightcrawler population up and going a lot better um, seeing that they <clears throat> even though they're rumored to not reproduce as fast you know she ended up with almost 800 of them in six months out of five worms so to me that was super encouraging super encouraging that my titans will take over the world uh, until they get to Europe and then pretty much their European night crawlers are whoop okay hey uh, found their carrots so baby titans aren't too good to make a worm ball so that's cool sorry guys so yeah the baby titans are still worm ballers so it looks like they've still got some food from midweek. I'm still going to give them some. A piece of cardboard over there. out a little bit put some of those chunks in there that aren't digesting of stuff put the worm ball back over there they've got uh, bubble wrap on them too so I don't know if the feeding that I gave the the big Titans was that much wetter I don't I don't know why that bin is that much wetter Or maybe the babies are just converting so much moisture to body mass that they're sopping it up. I got nothing. So, but I'm thinking that they're going to get the other part of the t-shirt. So, I just remembered that. Whoops. So, I'm going to kind of tuck that underneath the feeding a little bit so that it soaks up some bacteria and good juices and stuff so they can get started on it. So I'm not going to give it to the big titans because they're apparently too fancy to even make worm balls. Can't be bothered. They're too cool. But the baby titans, they still want to impress people. So I'm going to put the t-shirt in with them and see how they do with it. So it'll be the Baby Titans against the DIY Stacked Ben. All right, well, I'm going to give them back their bubble wrap. I don't want any crying. There's no crying in the Titan bins. Okay, so that's it for the Titans today. Thanks for hanging out with me and my worms. Everybody put your comments below and any sort of ideas or comments or if you just want to say hey it's all good okay guys well you guys have a good day bye bye